Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today for this video, we have Jayesh Thani with us and he's here to share his placement interview experience of how he successfully got placed in NCR Corporation and he backed an offer of intern plus full time uh, and on the role of SD. So hi Jayesh, hope you are doing well. Hi Navya. Can you go and introduce yeah, I'm doing yourself? Great. Yeah, sure. Hello everyone. I am Jayesh Thani, currently in my final year pursuing Bachelor in Computer Science. As Navya said, I got placed into NCR Corporation with internship plus full-time offer. If I talk about my interests, uh, I like to write poetry, blogs, articles, and I have also published my own research paper under International Journal. In this video, I will be going to share everything about my interview experience and preparation. Ah, that's great. So let's get to the main part of the interview. Uh, so please uh, tell us about uh, all the rounds that you had and the whole interview process, the online rounds and the face to face interviews that you had. Yeah, uh, there were total five rounds. First round was online coding plus MCQ test. I guess total 2000 students applied for this round. The CGPA criteria uh, was seven and all the branches were allowed to give test. The round was 90 minutes long, consists of 20 MCQ and 2 coding questions. MCQ were based on operating system, DBMS and uh, DSA. The first coding question was related to number theory. Uh, I exactly don't remember the question, but the question was really logical. And the second question was related to tree. My second round was technical interview one. Around 100 students got qualified for this round. It was 120 minute long interview. Uh, I guess 140 minute. Uh, there were two panelists and they were really very skilled and were very experienced in corporate world. Uh, they shared me a hacker rank link and asked me to introduce myself. I gave a brief introduction for two to three minutes covering uh, uh, about my background, education, skills, achievements uh, and hobbies. Then they asked me to uh tell what i mean by oops concept and also ask me to implement inheritance concept on their hacker rank editor uh, which i did successfully after that they gave a question on their editor there was a set of numbers in an array and the interviewer asked me to remove all the duplicate elements from the array i implemented uh, that question passing all the test cases and also told them theoretically another to approach how can I solve this or get really impressed by the approach the next question that they were asked me was related to string they asked me to uh, remove a string from a paragraph which was provided in the question so the question was really simple but the big challenge in the, this question was the interviewer asked me to code this specific question in python not in my core programming language uh, so it was tough for me because i was not so used to python but yeah interviewer were really nice they helped me with some keywords and some concept to solve that question and i finally solved that question after that the interviewer started giving me some dbms queries the first query was uh, really simple and i have implemented it the second query was quite difficult and challenging because the interviewer asked me to create a column in the table which will store the real time stamp of the data and the query so i tried for some time but uh, i didn't able to implement it successfully but that's fine i was honest and i told the interviewer that i can't uh, do this question right now but i am sure that i can do it in future so after that they moved to theoretical part and asked me some uh, theoretical questions related to os dbms and dsa which were very fundamental third round was technical interview too uh, around 25 students got qualified for this round it was 45 to 50 minutes long round this round was more focused on my projects internship skills and achievements that I mentioned in my resume. The panelist asked me to give a brief on my project and my research paper. He started cross questioning uh, on different part of my projects. Or you 
resume. So fourth round was managerial round. Around 12 to 15 students got qualified. This round was based on logical skills and approach toward problem solving. He asked me to uh, some puzzle problem. Uh, I don't remember that puzzle problem, but you can uh, see on GFC, there are list of puzzle problem, which will help you a lot in your interview and some scenario based question. And also he asked me my weakness, my strength and some basic questions like what make me different from other crowd and where do I see myself in next five years and all those questions. The final round was HR round around, uh, I guess, eight to 10 students got qualified. It was simple, uh, a five minute or 10 minute conversation between me and HR related to work, related to my location and my family background. And finally, I got the call from the HR that I got selected and that's it. That's really nice. And we got to know a lot of things that are really important when you uh, actually sit for an interview. So uh, what tips and advices do you have for people who are going to sit in their placements maybe in next some few months and uh, those can be proved to be beneficial to them? Yeah, uh, the suggestions that I want to give to students after experiencing so many interviews will be apart from your coding skills, you should be aware about some tech tech. You should have done some good uh, major project which you can show to the interviewer. Learn coding is not a day or a week task. Uh, so please get sincere from your fourth sem or at least from your fifth sem and start preparing for your placement and coding skills. Look stress. And one more important thing, always bring a smile on your face during your interview. On the interviewer while the interview will go. And the last and the most important thing, which I have concluded during so many interviews is, Please do a thorough research before giving any interview about the company. Uh, you should know about the company, what the company do and about the work that you will going to do in the company. And also uh, sometimes what happens, you get the mail with the name of the candidate who will taking your interview. So uh, if I say you can also check their LinkedIn account, you will really get lots of help. You can check what tech tech they are working in the company and what are their expertise in the corporate world and their experience, which can give a uh, nice impact on your interview. That's it. That's really a true point. And it really helps you to know the better the interviewer and the job you are uh, looking forward to it. So uh, as you also mentioned about the project. So my next question would be that uh, how to actually create a good resume, you know, that highlights you differently from other competitors that you have applying for a job. OK, so my first key point will be uh, mention only those things uh, which you know properly. Don't fake out anything in your resume. Interviewer can easily detect those things. Uh, in your technical resume, try to avoid uh, non-technical things and non-relatable things. For example, if you did internship or have any experience in management, marketing or social media marketing, anything like that. So it will not going to help you in any ways if you put that in your resume. So try not to mention it. It will not going to create any impact on your interview. And the third thing will be try to keep your resume simple and mention all those important things like CGPA project, at least two major projects and one minor project internship, if any, if you have uh, and all your achievements and certifications uh, for resume. Uh, I would personally recommend you to watch Love Babur uh, video because it was really useful for me too. Yeah, his resources have really been helpful in all terms. That's true. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, building a resume actually comes out to be how you actually make your college life more productive, right? So uh, that's my question. Next question is that how actually should students approach towards making their college life more productive so that they can come out with something better that could, you know, hi uh, be highlighted in their resume and that would eventually help them to stand out of others. Yeah. So if I talk about myself, 
then i was having three main pillars which i would suggest to every student to implement uh, for their preparation my three pillars were plan track and execute uh, see there's a lot to prepare as i told you previously also it's not a week or month or a three month task so you have to do a lot to prepare for your interview process so like you have to do coding problem solving you have to study all the cs cs subjects like os dbms networking uh, software engineering etc and you have to also create your logical approach and aptitude so it's a really long term task so uh, creating your personal projects and many more so before starting your preparation i think everyone should uh, plan uh, your uh, preparation like what you have to cover the parts what tech stack you have to learn what kind of project you have to create uh, if the planning is going in the right direction uh, then execute and implement it that's how you can be productive yeah rightly said you really need to be productive because it can be too late when you realize just before uh, four or five months of placement that you need to do a lot because yeah. uh, there are other people who have been working a lot uh, you can say hard working from maybe the second year or maybe uh, from the starting also people work nowadays so you need to yeah. be smart enough and see how people are actually approaching uh, to be more productive so uh, by this uh, we come to the end of this video so any final tips that you think uh, that you would like to highlight as major tips yeah so the tips would be uh, placement is all about patience and dedication i have faced many rejection before getting placed into ncr corporation uh, and in my group i was the last one to get placed i used to do go to my mother and share my feelings that i am getting depressed and she always used to say sabar kar sab milega din bura hai zindagi nahi so nahi. always remember din bura hai zindagi nahi so uh, keep the motivation and always keep working hard so truly said and always learn from your rejections so i hope this video helps you uh, to get a brief idea about how the interview process goes at ncr and uh, what are the important tips that all of us should uh, keep in mind while preparing for placements so thank you jayesh for being here and uh, giving such wonderful talk so uh, i hope you guys like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you for watching